This week, I'm gonna try and turn $100 into $1,000. Now, the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna visit two of my local bin stores. One that's named Lakeside Treasure Hunt, the other is. So I'm gonna to try to visit these two bin stores with a hundred bucks, see what I can come up with. Let's get it. All right, so did pretty good at the first bin store. I wasn't expecting the line to be so short. <laughs> so it was a pretty short line. I think it was only like maybe seven or eight people in front of me. Uh, I didn't get there until like four minutes before they opened. So that was a pretty good day. I got a bunch of good items and it is 8.53. So I'm gonna run over to the store real quick, drop this stuff off and go to the next bin store. Okay, I know it's a lot of stuff, but it's a lot of really good stuff. A lot of stuff that has very good sell through rates. Um, these items are gonna be able to be listed and sold pretty quickly. I'm trying to list all the stuff today because I said I was gonna list stuff as quickly as I get those things. So I'm gonna get stuff listed. I'll see y'all in a minute. All right, let's go over some numbers. All right, so at the first store, if y'all were paying attention, you saw that I actually got 13 items at the first bin store. Each item at the bin store was $6. So I want to talk a little bit about the sell-through rate of the item. So when I'm going through the bin store, the biggest thing that I like to do is look at how much the items are actually selling for and seeing how many items are actually listed. Now, there will be a time where you won't be able to find the item being listed on eBay because either they have sold out, like they sell out more than people list them, or um, it's just a crap item and it's not listed and nobody wants it. So there's certain things that you can buy just because something $6 doesn't mean it's a good deal. I always go through and check every single item that I buy from the bin store to see if it has a pretty good sell through rate. So think of sell through rate as when an item is listed and how long it takes for it to sell. And so if you look at how many items are listed? Let's just say we have 30 items that are listed. Um, and then you have 40 items that have 40 of those items been sold in the last 90 days. Now you're like, okay, well that's a hundred percent sell through rate because of all of the items that are listed right now, you have more items actually have, they have been sold. So that's kind of how I look at it. There are some items that don't have a high sell through rate, but they are still good items and they're going to be a pretty quick flip. So I'm not going to go through each of the items that I got. Um, from the bin store because y'all saw a lot of them from the first bin store, but I did get 13 items, $6 a piece. I paid $85 for these 13 items and I will make a potential profit of $685 for these items. So 
I am more than halfway to my goal of $1,000 from $100. So now you may be asking yourself, TJ, you spent $85. How are you going to go to the bin store with 15 bucks uh, and do that? So, so what I end up doing at the other bin stores, I found so much stuff. I had to get all that stuff. So it's going to be a little bit, I cheat a little bit. I cheated. I'm sorry. It's going to be a little bit more than a hundred bucks. Um, but the items were well worth it. So I actually ended up spending $78 at the second bin store. I got 11 items at that being store. Uh, a couple of items that I want to talk about was the Kitty Alarms. They have a very good sell through rate. Um, I grabbed three of those. Actually, I may wait until $3 a day or dollar a day to go back and grab some more because they had tons of these in the bins, um, but they had like 100% sell through rate on these. These were brand new um, in the package. So these would be a quick and easy sale. So pay six bucks, I'll make $25 for each one of those. Pretty good flip. Uh, then I got this Con Air um, hair dryer blower comb thing, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> These sell pretty good. Anything, um, you know, kind of beauty related, those sell pretty good for us. And also if it doesn't sell quick on our eBay store, we can just list it on whatnot and it will sell there. Uh, then I picked up this scanner, a wireless scanner, which is really good. Um, I may keep this item. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and list it, but if it doesn't sell, uh, within a couple weeks or whatever, I'll just keep it because it's a wireless scanner. So we can use that at our store to do help with the inventory. Cause the one we have right now has a, uh, cord on it and i don't i don't i don't really like cords too much so um but 80 bucks for this um there's only one listed um that's 86 dollars so i'm just going to price it a little bit lower than that probably put a promotion on it and see if i can get it going uh then i got this wagner heat gun um it goes for about 35 bucks it is brand new the box is a little bit beat up um but stuff like this like heat guns and tools and things like that those generally sell pretty good for us uh, then I got this lock and I didn't, at first I wasn't going to get this lock because it was such a small box and the box was kind of cut up on the front of it so I couldn't really see what it was. But I opened it up and it's like some kind of fingerprint um, lock, which is kind of cool having a fingerprint lock. Could you imagine like going to your front door and putting your fingerprint on it, opening up the door? I know some bougie people probably got that, but I don't. <laughs> this lock is going for about 86 bucks on eBay and that's actually a lot cheaper than some of the ones that are listed. I've seen some listed for like $113. Um, but I'm just going to list this one around the 80 to $85 mark and it should go. Uh, then I got another faucet. If y'all watched last week's episode, I got the same exact faucet. It was brand new. Um, and I'm a list of 50 bucks plus shipping. Then I got this humidity sensor fan switch kind of deal. It was brand new sealed. This brand sells pretty good. I've sold a couple of things uh, from this brand and it sells pretty good. So I decided to pick it up because it's going to be a quick, easy flip to ship. Uh, I always look for like items that are tiny that won't cost a lot of money to ship. Um, and those are the items I kind of gravitate towards when I go to the bin store. Uh, and then last but not least, I got these LED floodlights. This is a pretty good pickup. I always like to keep floodlights because I put them in my basement in my room down here. But I'm going to list these. They're $70. They're brand new. Um, really nice uh, outdoor waterproof LED floodlights. Um, $70 is actually on the cheaper side of these. I actually seen them listed for about $89.99. But I put $70 on it just to be, you know, to keep it, keep it in 100 <laughs> So all in all, at that store, I bought 11 items totaling $78, and I have a grand total of $443 of potential profit from the second store. So with both of those two numbers combined, I'm looking at about $1,128 worth of potential profit for these items. Now, that's not including fees or shipping or anything like that, but $1,100 and I only worked for, I was at the first bin store for about 40 minutes and I was at the second bin store for about 30 minutes. So, you know, about an hour and a half worth of work going in, finding these items, taking uh, about $150 and, and I think I did pretty good. So I know I've been zooming around today, like almost like literally <laughs> because I went and saw the Flash movie. So this was like a Flash theme. Uh, vlog. But anyway, if you like these types of videos, please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate you guys for checking me out. Um, make sure you are subscribed so you can watch the next video in this series. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun time. Uh, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.